Hello, welcome to a story that has mostly assured my spot in hell. This story takes place during the end of summer. Still had my AC in that window right there. And I planned on keeping it there for a while. You may be saying, hey Matt, since it's the end of summer, why would you keep it there? For white noise. I would turn the fan on so I wouldn't hear noises outside. One night when I came back from New York City, I discovered that my air conditioner was no longer there and my father had taken it out. This is where our story begins. This neighborhood that I live in is very populous with pimps, crackheads, and hookers. Which is why I needed that fucking white noise. So it's time for me to go to bed. I turned my lights off, opened my window because why not? And as I'm going to bed, Bear. I started hearing this <laughs> sound, and I'm like, what the fuck is that? It's going on for a while. So I get up, go to that window, I open, I open the screen, and I look out, and I see this woman's back doing one of these. And then my mind goes and says, oh my god, that's a hooker sucking a dude's dong. I couldn't see the man that she was giving the blowjob to, because the roof was directly over her. I only saw her. Th this is an alleyway. That is the most disgusting thing I ever seen. So I start jerking off with the window open. The lights are off. You can't see me. So I'm just there like the dark night of masturbating and I'm just- <laughs> So, uh, I'm- I'm going to town on myself. Noticing that the dude hasn't ejaculated yet. And I'm also noticing these people. It was like a Friday or Saturday night and every so often I saw somebody walking past the alleyway, not batting an eyelash to what was happening. It's almost as if, um, like, in this town, people see prostitutes sucking dudes penis all the time and I've been missing out. No invite? Okay. And then all of a sudden, three people start to walk into the alleyway, looking concerned. They start asking this woman, are you okay? What's wrong? And so I'm like, she's fine, leave her alone! And I start connecting the dots. There was no dude, was there? I had been masturbating to a crackhead, um, that was crying, rocking back and forth as she was. So uh, I take my hands off my penis, I close the window, lie down, and recollect. That's the end of the story, there's no redemption here.